I first heard about Apple CarPlay, I was woohoo! They finally read that letter I sent to Steve Jobs like 32 years ago, suggesting innovations on car entertainment at the time, and they finally implemented it. But sadly, it's much more boring than that. It is an integration between your iPhone and the computer or navigation system in your car. And so today's video is a little bit about um, how Porsche do it um, and some of the little uh, oddities about the Porsche implementation. Overall, I use it every day, so it must be pretty good, uh, but it does have some shortcomings that they need to fix, and I'll talk about those as well. So, uh, first thing I'd say is that, yes, Apple CarPlay is available, but the Android Auto is not. Uh, and the reason behind that is rumored to be because Google are trying to draw too much information about your car and what you do in it uh, from the application, so Porsche have said no, we're not doing that until you stop doing uh, grabbing everyone's information. Whether or not that's true, I don't know, um, but that's rumored to be why there's no Android Auto. But we do have Apple CarPlay, and it is pretty good. Um, the new uh, navigation PCM system in Porsches uh, is excellent. The biggest reason why it's so good is that they've put a very powerful processor in it. Uh, everything happens very quickly these days uh, on this you know if you go to maps and you move around um, you know it is it is a pretty responsive system and that comes down to a decent graphics processor and a decent CPU and that re that's reflected in the Apple CarPlay as well everything happens very quickly uh, so the first time you plug your phone into your car um, it comes up with a message saying hey do you want to treat this as an iPod or as an Apple CarPlay device if you choose Apple CarPlay uh, you get the Apple CarPlay menu like that uh, which is nice and laid out just like an iPhone same icons same nice clean Apple fonts um, and as I said it, it works very quickly so quickly going through the standard apps um, you, you pass backwards and forwards between uh, the Apple CarPlay and the Porsche menu just by pressing the Porsche button here and it takes you back to these and they use similar fonts and they've sort of made this look a little bit like the Apple screens and then you hit this button down here to get back to the Apple CarPlay uh, the phone feature is pretty self-explanatory. The music is probably the real strength. Um, the quality of the music through the Apple CarPlay blows me away every day. It's fantastic. I play the same song through the jukebox or through uh, the Bluetooth and then plug the Apple CarPlay in. It always sounds so much better. Uh, it really takes advantage of high bit rate um, MP3 or other file types. So yeah, the, the, the quality of the music through Apple CarPlay is fantastic. It's worth for that alone. Uh, the only downside on the music system, the only glitchy bit on the music system, well there's a couple of glitchy bits actually, uh, if you try and, if you're listening to music on the Apple CarPlay and then you hit the media, it goes, ah, you can't do that and it freezes up. Um, sometimes it'll let you go back, sometimes it won't. Come on, go back, go back. Come on. But you get what I mean. Uh, there we go, we're going back. Um, it doesn't let you use the internal media, but it will let you use the radio. So you can switch between Apple CarPlay music and the radio, um, but not the internal media, which is odd. The other odd thing about the music on the Apple CarPlay is say you're playing a song and you turn the ignition off, say to get some gas or something, you get back in your car and start the ignition again, and then you hit play again, <laughs> the, the sound starts coming out of the phone, even though it's showing it on the screen as working in the car. So you've got to unplug the whole thing again, plug it back in, start it all back up again before it starts playing in the car. So it's a bit of a glitch there. Um, the Maps is pretty self-explanatory. Apple Maps, which if you don't have another navigation system, the Apple Maps is pretty good. But the navigation system built into the Porsches now is top-notch and far superior to the Apple Maps. Um, doesn't get me lost anywhere near as often. The Porsche system is based on the Google Maps, which is much better at telling you traffic information as well. But at a pinch, the Apple Maps is perfectly fine. Um, the other downside to the Apple Maps system, it doesn't integrate very well uh, with, the, with the controls. You don't see the map in the little screen up here. So I much prefer using the built-in map system as opposed to the Apple Maps system. One of the great features, of course, is the text messaging. Uh, here comes one now. If I press the button. You have a message from John. Nick, you asshole, stay away from my sister or I will kick you in the balls. <laughs> Want to reply? Clearly a wrong number. Uh, so yeah, it will uh, speak your text messages to you and you can dictate the, the reply back and you know, Siri's excellent. Siri even understands my weird accent. So that works beautifully to allow you to have text messages back and forth without ever uh, your hands off the wheel or your eyes off the road. Uh, and then the rest of it's just other audio stuff, podcasts, audio books. 
and any other applications that you've installed on your phone that are compatible with this. So it's only really sound-based applications that work. You won't get Facebook or Tinder or anything like that on here. Um, and they all have their own little quirks. Like I've noticed that podcasts often get stuck on the same uh, podcast over and over again. When, and even though you're telling it to move forward, sometimes you have to unplug it and replug it. So they've all got little quirks about them. So it's not a perfect system. But generally it works pretty well. And I definitely use it every single day. The other, the other little oddity about the Porsche implementation is, of course, uh, it plugs into the armrest under here. There's a USB plug under here, and that works there. But if you plug it into the USB port that's here in the uh, glove compartment, uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, Porsche do some strange things. But so yeah, that's the Apple CarPlay. I love it the most for the uh, messages and the quality of the music that comes out of it. And we can just hope that they one day implement the Apple CarPlay that we all want.